Good morning guys, what's happening? As many of you asked me to rate my Rasazi fragrances as I have added so many more. Last year I did uh, my top Arma fragrances. I think last year also I did my top 20 Rasazi fragrances, like 20 or 10. Uh, that one has huge views. Uh, so I have ac actually experienced a lot more Rasazis last year and this year. And a few things before I start this top 20. Uh, this is the list from the men's side. I actually am experiencing so many also women's side. So I'll do a separate list for that. So if you see some of them are missing, it doesn't mean uh, I do not like them. Some of the fragrance I felt like towards feminine or they're marketed towards women. I'll do a separate list for them. Second of all, uh, this is entirely my choice. Nothing to do with longevity or they, some of them are missing. You'll see, doesn't mean that I don't love them anymore. But you know, you know, Typical thing is when you use something recently more, you know, that those things are, uh, you know, growing on you more. So uh, it, it's kind of like a growing contemporary thing, you know, in that way. And last thing before I uh, start the list, Rasasi is one of my favorite houses. Um, I do uh, like a lot of fragrance, but I love the house of Rasasi. Most of the Rasasi fragrance are extremely long lasting. Price wise, they're fantastic and uh, the fragrances they just produce they have some clones and they have some original touch original creations so i love them in general for everything they produce so remember i'm going to go from 20 to 1 based on just the smell what i enjoy wearing a lot and i think they are more quality to my nose they make me happy uh, they can always change in rotation right so there's no such thing as constant what's gonna be today's top five top three not gonna be perhaps in the next year because taste changes all right so i'll start with uh, two honorable mentions and few other fragrances are going to be missing right so do not worry they are somewhere there but maybe they will pop up later so two fragrances honorable uh, mention I, they're kind of similar okay i use them i finish the bottle and i finish one of the fragrances at least three to four bottles okay uh, those are going to be shura puram and this is going to be shagav puram okay these two so Shagav, as you know, I reviewed it, this beautiful fragrance. It's an aquatic, more uh, like, a, let's say summary version of uh, Shura. I don't have to talk about Shura anymore. I made Shura very, very famous in Bangladesh. And I believe in many countries, people checked out this fragrance is a tobacco, kind of like an ashy uh, tobacco kind of a fragrance with a lot of fruit, sweetness, and it's a beast mode performer. But Shagav is light take on those. So the thing is, uh, these two fragrances, uh, did not make the list because I think I over <laughs> warned them or something. So I kind of took a break from these two in recent times. So those are your two honorable mentions. Never mind. I'll put the names in the description link. You can check individual reviews out. And I have done individual reviews on almost all of them. So starting from the official list, number 20, one of my newer fragrances. This is Rasas's Hatem for men. I don't. I think there's one for women. This is pretty much uh, same DNA as Versace Puram with a better performance, but not like a heavy fragrance. This is more like a summer, fresh, you know, ozonic kind of fragrance. Very inexpensive, very uh, melon-like and very beautiful cap and presentation they come in. Uh, this is really one of my favorites. Check out my full-on review on this one, Rasasis Hatem. Great summer fragrance and a cheapy too. Number 19, I'm gonna go with uh, Rasasis Tazmim. This is uh, easily, it's one of the classics, okay? In overall fragrance game. It has a beautiful cardamom, it has vanilla, it has a lot of things going on. It's kind of like a sexy uh, fragrance which lasts a long time. It sits uh, kind of around you, like on your clothes, like uh, not on your clothes. It sits close to your skin, but very good presence, okay? And it has this green aspect as well, green sort of a, a bohemian sort of feel. I really love this fragrance. Uh, for cold weather, I highly recommend this. Rasasis Tazmin is my number 19. <clears throat> number 18. Number 18 is a fragrance from the Pour Louis line. They have three in this line for men, three for women. So number 18, I'm gonna show you Leopard. So I forgot the exact whole name, Pour Louis, there's some numbers and stuff. So Leopard is this Leopard print that you see. They come in 50 ml bottles, CDP. So this actually is supposed to replicate uh, Jubilation 25 by Amouage, which I also have. Uh, Jubilation 25 is a little bit different, of course, more quality and much more complex and much more posh, but this one has a spicy sort of thing going on the top of that Jubilation DNA. Definitely try it out. It's a hidden gem kind of a fragrance. 
perhaps you're not gonna wear it every day but it's a nice fragrance okay lasts a very very long time all right number 17 yeah, number seven that today i wrote down the names and numbers so i do not miss out the numbers <laughs> number 17 is a fragrance i think it made my top rasasi fragrance last year uh, or the year before but you know due to a lot of other new fragrances it kind of took a hit it went back but it still made the list okay that is daresh puram okay this beautiful purple juice still one of the best rasasis definitely do not make mistake but uh, currently my favorite wise i think daresh is little bit in the rotation at the back because I'm using some more of this top 10 a lot more but Daresh is one of the most inexpensive uh, gem of a fragrance Valentino V clone which is discontinued and going for really pretty penny this one you can still score for less than $30 for 100 ml like this okay 100 or 90 I think these are I forgot is there supposed to be 100 ml okay yeah this is 100 ml okay so check out this fragrance very sweet vanilla base it's kind of like uh, very sexy fragrance you have to really experience it and check out my review on it individually all right <clears throat> number uh, 16 this new fragrance very inexpensive from the line inexpensive line this is a very budget friendly i think below 20 dollars or 20 25 dollars depending on the country this is a clone of tear dare mess okay this is fatan purum the green juice okay check out my recent review on this one i think this is gonna really give you the feel of tear dare mess and tear dare mess ultra fresh somewhere in between very nice uh, young sort of uh, zesty orange peel that sort of feel less powdery more uh, youthful kind of a fragrance okay does last a very long time and project also beautifully this is Fatan Puram at number 16 okay number 15 is a fragrance this is from their more expensive line these are gonna cost you a little bit more like let's say one dollar per dollar you're gonna get one mil one mil is gonna cost you one dollar that is the calculation but this is very unique this is one of the most unique offerings it's supposed to be a clone of a memo line i think it's a italian leather or irish leather i forgot exactly but one of those smoky incensey kind of uh, fragrance it supposedly got ambergris but i don't get so much of it but very nice fragrance very unique you have to really experience it. it's very unique it has this leather going a little bit smokiness going okay it's called ambergris showers okay this one this is very rare not many people talk about it not many people experience it i believe try out this one this is a beautiful bottle presentation they come in okay it's worth the money very very long lasting all right that is number 15. okay number 14 is absolute beauty uh just because the next fragrance is really a uh, little bit more special a little bit i reach for them or did reach for them more uh, and this is relatively newer which is why it's kind of somewhere in the like down the line but trust me if you like oud in the purest form and uh, you really are looking for purely oud based fragrance but not at a very premium price you know, just want to start somewhere uh just you just want to enjoy oud oud and oud right this is one fragrance you should definitely check out this number 14 fakat lil rijal okay it has this kind of like a whiskey flask or water flask sort of bottle kind of plasticky but not very heavy but Trust me, the juice inside is just pure joy. When you sniff it, it's just pure form of oud. It's just uh, kind of sweet. It has touch of rose, but it's not so much rose. It's not an annoying rose, but if you're not into oud, you're not going to be able to appreciate or understand the fragrance. But if you're planning to get into the oud game, sniff it out, wait for the dry down. That's where it's going to show you the magic. Check out my review on this one. Fakat Lil Rijal means only for him. Okay. All right, moving on to next one from my left side, number 13. I'm looking at the notes here. If you're wondering where I'm looking at, I'm looking at the notes because I got old. I cannot remember the, the order. So I'm looking at the number followed by the name. Okay, number 13 is a fragrance from the Pour Louis line. This fragrance, I said, this is better than in quality, in terms of quality, better than Club Dino Intense Man. It's an Aventus Clone, yes. And you guys probably know if you follow my channel what I'm talking about. But this fragrance uh, is a little bit pricey. It's almost double the price of CD Nim, which is why I put Club Nino Intense Man ahead of this. But if you talk about quality, uh, smoothness, a little bit more fruitiness and better build quality, this is the one I would look at. This is Zebra. Almost ran out of my bottle. Every time you sniff it, you know, sometimes you cannot tell if you're wearing Aventus or you're wearing Rasas. If someone asks you, sometimes you just can get away with saying, yeah, I'm wearing Fruity Batch of Aventus 2016. No one's gonna doubt you. They smell it, 
right from your hand, they won't be able to tell the difference. It smells like pineapple, lemon, all those good things, but of course it's not Aventus. Yeah, be realistic, but you don't get all the apple and then the, you know, the berries and stuff like, you know, if you're paying like a fraction of a price still, you cannot expect to get the exact thing, but this is pretty damn nice. It's one of my favorite Aventus clothes, okay? That is number 13, Rasa Sispur Louis Zebra. Okay, number 12 is one of the musk series. I really loved it. This was my first musk fragrance that I reviewed and I did review all three of them. There are two which made this list. This is one of them. This is Rasa Sis Musk Nakaya, I believe, yeah. These ones are all unisex. If you do like the note of musk, just try this out. It has that nice sort of florals. It's just clean musk. If you just want white musk, smells like feather and it's just light, airy, but extremely long lasting. Doesn't have too much uh, complicated uh, turnarounds here and there, rush, you know, nothing of that sort. Very high class fragrance, okay? This is Rasasi uh, Musk Collection Nakaya, okay? Nakaya made it to number 12. Number 11 is a uh, fragrance I got a gift, okay, from my dear brother Shafi Bhai. And you guys have seen my review on this one. If you haven't, please check it out. This one of the more affordable, uh, beautiful unisex sort of a, I think it, it's really like a crowd pleaser sort of a designer version of old. Do not spend hundreds of dollars. Invest in this fragrance. You'll see what I mean. This fragrance is called number 11, Dan Al Oud Kalta Tal Khasa. Check out the juice color. It's pure gold, right? It's a liquid gold. I absolutely love this fragrance. I wore a lot of it, if you can see. And this fragrance, ah oh man, this is so, so good. This, there is no such harsh wood note or anything. It's just smooth, it's floral, it's kind of like sweet, and it's playful. You can definitely wear it and go out as a, for evening. You know, you can share it with your missus. You can give it to your wife as well. She's gonna love it as much. And this one, uh, it's not the longest lasting in this lineup, but in my books, I mean, this is one of the beautiful, like daytime wood fragrance that I use. So Kaltatal Khasa, it's like a, uh, you can try it out. I mean, it's not a must buy or anything, but I would suggest you sample this, okay? So this is number 11, Dehan Alut Kaltatal Khasa. Thank you, Shafi Bhai, for this ball. <laughs> okay, now we're entering top 10. Number 10 is a fragrance I have uh, been having since the beginning of my journey. I reviewed it long time ago, my bottle almost finished, but I have something similar to this in this lineup itself. It's a clone of something that is also clone of the same fragrance, okay? That would be Silver Mountain Water by Creed. But Silver Mountain Water by Creed is very, very uh, lovely to write fragrance. Not many people like it. I didn't like it at first, but you know, nowadays I just appreciate it after long, long uh, hours of testing. But this fragrance right here from Rasasi, I fell in love with it immediately. This is called Enteba for him, okay? Try out this juice. It has a champagne accord. It has a lot of fruits up top, sweet, lasts forever. You know, this beautiful bottle. This juice will last you forever, okay? It's a very long lasting summer day fragrance. You can use it for daytime, okay? Enteba, it's number 10. Number nine. <laughs> number nine is a fragrance written by. I just recently started appreciating the note of vetiver. It has vetiver. It has some sort of a fresh vetiver smell. It's a fresh woody smell. As some people say it's a furniture shop, I said it's furniture shop in the middle of a forest, you know. And this is where you're gonna get Udi and Vetiver from this Rasasi Wow Udi. Very inexpensive, it's a 60 ml bottle I believe, I don't know where it was, yeah, 60 ml bottle. But uh, don't worry about it, you just want this fragrance for this bottle. This bottle is a masterpiece, it's like a showpiece, okay. <sighs> so, so good. If you like the note of Vetiver, you'll tell, some of you will say this is niche quality juice, okay. If you like Tom Ford, uh, the gray vetiver, if you like many other vetivers, Guerlain's and everything, this is something you should definitely check it out, okay? Rasa Si Wow Woody, check out my review on it. This is number nine. Number eight is a uh, fragrance I absolutely treasure. This is one of my go-to guys and most easy to wear, beautiful. It's sim something similar to Kalta Al Khasa, but this has that uh, like bakur fruits added to the uh, oud. So it has some ambery touch, sweetness, fruits, a lot of multiple dimension, and it's very inexpensive, okay? This is called uh, Oud Al Mubakkar, see? This is why I wrote the names, so many names sometimes you forget, but look at the juice, okay? You'll just appreciate the juice color sitting it, sitting on the shelf. And this is one of the best Rasasi fragrances in the inexpensive side. 
some people say this one has performance issues i did not get any i mean i'm just lucky i guess i wear like six seven eight sprays of this i just go crazy on trigger i'm happy to go trigger happy <laughs> i'm happy to go trigger trigger happy because this smells so so good it's very unisex women can wear it alike it will be good fragrance to wear if you're into praying if you're a religious person for good for that if you're going for an evening spending time with your uh, favorite persons or your friends also and uh, it's so holy it's so clean and it's just lovely okay check out udan mubakkar it's one of really growing on to me okay and i love the simplistic bottle here okay so number seven is the fragrance i was talking about when i was talking about enteba i said silver mountain water this is also silver mountain water clone i believe this one came before or after enteba but this is something i'm reaching for more it's more so than enteba because something about it is just great always someday beautiful purple juice inside you can see through you know like if you put it against the light you can see the beautiful purple colored juice and this fragrance extremely long lasting it lasts more than enteba it's clean fresh uh kind of musky uh, feels like ambergris but uh, i don't think there's ambergris in it but very sweet summer fruity kind of fragrance okay very clean as well i i, I suggest this you wear if you're looking to wear something you know in the daytime for good performer this is one of the inexpensive ones okay check out always someday okay always someday made number seven Whew. now number six this is the one only i have from the junoon line this is called junoon setting for men i mean these bottles are just masterpiece these are just gorgeous the presentation they come in beautiful boxes i wish i could show you right now but i don't know where they are this looks like some sort of architectural beauty okay and the name would be down here this fragrance coming 50 very expensive line but when you smell it this is the niche version of kalimat black okay it smells much better than kalimat black people smell it on you they just absolutely compliment you left and right uh check it out check it out uh, if i get the velvet and also get the leather i'll review them but they'll make my list but this is the only one i have so far which i love right so this is number six rasas is junoon satin top five are the best of all <laughs> in this whole collection of mine at least in my world number five i start with layu kompuram this is from the older collection uh, this is the first one i bought from this line i mean i have fairly about 15 ml left this is a clone of tuscan leather made me fall in love with tuscan leather and i never gonna buy tuscan leather because of this perhaps perfumes de marley got all thin but nonetheless this is a beast mode raspberry leather and it has that note of that drug i think cocaine uh, but never mind it just leaves a huge sense central in the winter i wouldn't wear this in summertime because it's gonna be too much to handle but trust me if you want beast this is a beast this is a beast mode fragrance 10 out of 10 in every category right so i had to pick it up and this one made just solely for the smell not for the performance la yukom purom it's a it's it's like a legend in the fragrance community now uh, this is gonna be like 75 to 80 dollars worth every penny for 75 mil okay number four i said it this is one of the most hauntingly beautiful fragrance in my collection when i uh, sniffed it for the first time and i was like lost i couldn't sleep whole night this is rasasi kasamat more half okay there are two more from this line need to try but this is just beautiful florals beautiful oud uh, this one could be like people can say this is kind of like feminine if they smell it but you just know fragrance have no boundaries man you gotta check it out it has some peach or something like a some sort of a fruity note mixed with the florals it has florals fruity oud very clean extremely beast mode fragrance but it doesn't sm smell like live warm it smells like more divine sort of a fragrance okay very heavenly rasasi kasamat more of everyone who tried it from me they said this is heavenly okay number four my current favorite rasasi number three must line the other bottle that made the list the third one didn't make the list because i did not like it much that one i just uh, had to pass this is called harir okay is it harir yes it's called harir from the must line these are like bottle wise you know just if you check it out i showed it once it looks like crystal very posh looking bottle very expensive and it actually is luxurious right check out my review on harid i did all three in one video i check out my impression on this one it's one of my favorite fragrances 
it's it's also beautiful okay <laughs> it has musk at the same time it has some spices i think there is uh if you like the note of saffron this one's gonna give you that kick as well okay number three number two and number one are two of my borouge and i was not sure which one i'm gonna put number two which one is gonna be number one but i had to make a choice right number two Asrar Indonesia. I think Asrar Al Indonesia, Asrar Indonesia from the Borouge line. This is oud at its best. Why does it cost so much? This uh, 50 ml is going to cost you 100 to 150 dollars depending on where you buy it from. Why does it cost so much? Because perhaps Rasasi has done the best bottle here in this particular uh, release. The most beautiful uh, looking presentation with the box and everything. If you see my presentation in the video individual review you click and below you will see the presentation you can see the bottle here but the box is also gorgeous second thing is they use real wood in this it's real real wood and it's no child's play if you do not like wood you have to give it respect and leave it aside okay i wear it a lot this is beast mode one spray last on me half the day okay so what you get from this is ah oh man sense of luxury you know that's all that's it you know Borouge line is called luxury. This is pure luxury. Check it out. Try to sample it. Uh, if you cannot afford the bottle, you have to really try it for once in your life. This is as good as it gets in the wood world. You can pay for your Rojada, you can pay for MFKs, but you also have to check out Rasas's this collection. This is the most premium. It can give like, you know, like contest to any other big niche companies for quality, right? Absolute gem, liquid gold. That leads me to number one, which I almost dropped. Damn, <laughs> almost had a heart attack. This is called Oud, I think it's called Cambodi. Udal Cambodi, uh, there's the name I'm confused. Just the Cambodian Oud, okay? Why? I haven't reviewed this yet. Because I'm still testing, testing, testing. I'm trying to break it to my nose. What are the notes I'm getting from it? It's the most beautiful fragrance you can wear. This one is uh, thanks to Nikhil Bhai from uh, India. He is the one, he's the perfume guru, his channel is called now. He's the one who made me look at this. I saw his review at least 25 times, at least full review from start to the end. And uh, in the end, thanks to Masud Bhai, most of these Rasasis nowadays, uh, Masud Bhai, Perfume Bangladesh, they're official distributor of Rasas in Bangladesh. I'm not marketing for them, but I'm just saying that thanks, I'm grateful that I could experience these fragrances. Cambodia is basically a very crowd pleaser. It's, it has everything. This fragrance has everything. It has sweetness, it has wood, polished wood. It has the most beautiful projection, longevity. I think something that smells like honey. Uh, I'm not quite sure what else is in there because uh, I still cannot say I got all the notes from it, but this is perhaps the most uh, easy to wear from the Cambodia line, okay? I mean, not the Cambodia, the Borouge line. Check it out, Oud Al Kambodi, uh, Cambodian Oud from the uh, Borouche line, okay, for men. I think women can also wear it. This is luxury in a bottle. That is my number one currently. So that's my top 20 Rasa C fragrances. I'm sorry, the video is very long. If you find time, see it because I wanted to explain why each entry is number 16 or let's say two, number three. I wanted to explain a little bit. Check out the reviews. I'll put the link below. You can click and see individual reviews. Have a very good night. Thanks for watching and thanks for loving Rasasi. Uh, those who love it, they really love it. I'll see you soon and good night from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Bye-bye.